सिक्स्थ प्रॉब्लम सिक्स्थ वन इफ साइन अल्फा इज इक्वल टू वन बाई रूट टेन साइन बीटा इज इक्वल टू वन बाई रूट फाइव एंड alpha beta or acute that means less than 90 degrees show that show that alpha plus beta is equal to pi by 4 that means 45 degrees any problem in trigonometry If you are asked to prove that sum of the angles is equal to angles is equal to 45 degrees, it had better to take tan ratio or tan of alpha plus beta is equal to 1. It is enough to prove that tan of alpha plus beta is equal to 1. But if you expand tan of alpha alpha plus beta, we get tan alpha plus tan beta by 1 minus tan alpha tan beta. That means we require tan alpha and tan beta values. But here sin alpha and sin beta are given. So that's why we have to find out tan alpha. We have to find out tan beta. Then find tan alpha plus beta, so that we get alpha plus beta value. Now, given alpha beta are acute. that implies both alpha comma beta belongs to first quadrant in first quadrant all trigonometric ratios are positive and also given sin alpha is equal to 1 by root 10 so that means take alpha triangle sin means opposite by hypotenuse 1 this will be root 10 so this will be 3 because 10 minus 1 is 9 root 9 is 3 here tan alpha we can write tan alpha is equal to opposite by adjacent 1 by 3 right okay now sin beta equals to 1 by root 5 let us take a triangle beta right angle triangle this will be 1 this will be root 5 5 1 4 square root of 4 is 2 again tan beta what is tan beta is opposite by adjacent 1 by 2 now as we have discussed now tan of alpha plus beta let us find so this is tan alpha plus tan beta by 1 minus tan alpha tan beta 1 minus tan alpha tan beta now replace tan alpha 1 by 3 tan beta 1 by 2 so 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 by 1 minus 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 now this is equal to lcm is 6 2 plus 3 here also lcm is 6 6 minus 1 this is 5 by 6 By five by six, so five by six into six by five, so equals to one. Tan of alpha plus beta is equal to one means tan alpha plus beta is equal to one means tan forty five. So alpha plus beta is equal to forty five. so alpha plus beta is in radians pi by 4 radians 
hence it is furrowed. Seventh problem. If sin A is equal to twelve by thirteen, cos B equal to three by five, and neither a nor b is in the first quadrant first quadrant then find then find the quadrant the quadrant in which in which a plus b lies okay this is very very important problem and also this problem is logic is there in this problem here sin a is positive cos b is positive and a does not lie in the first quadrant b does not lie in the first quadrant but as both a and b are do not lie in the first quadrant sin a is being positive cos a b also positive Uh, now sin a is positive in only two cases either first quadrant second quadrant the cos b is positive means either first or fourth quadrant that means here a should lie in the second quadrant whereas b should lie in the fourth quadrant as for the given condition so now as for the given data since neither a nor b lies in q1 as sin a is equal to positive that means 12 by 13 a should belongs to second quadrant in second quadrant sin is positive as cos b is equal to 3 by 5 b must belongs to the fourth quadrant q4 let us take the figure this is x x dash y y dash this is the origin so take the triangle here like this say a now sin a is equal to 12 by 13 this is 12 this is 13 this will be uh 169 minus 144 25 minus 5 this is negative direction say this is something o a b now right angle this is take here like this you drop the perpendicular so this will be ocd so this angle is b cos b is 3 by 5 3 three by 5 means this is 3 this will be 5 this will be minus 4 here negative minus 4 so let us find out cos a so from this triangle cos a is equal to minus 5 by 13 similarly you find out sin a sin b so in fourth quadrant here sin b is equal to minus 4 by 
see in order to determine the angle the quadrant in which a plus b lies better we have to find out sin of a plus b as well as cos of a plus b with the help of the sines of sin of a plus b and cos of a plus b we can determine the quadrant in which a plus b lies so that means first let us find out sin of a plus b later we have to find out cos of a plus b so first let us find out sin of a plus b sin of a plus b is equal to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b now sin a what is sin a is 12 by 13 multiplied by cos b cos b is 3 by 5 and plus cos a is minus 5 by 13 multiplied minus 4 by 5 let us simplify 36 by 65 plus 20 by 65 65 is the LCM 36 plus 20 that is 56 by 65 that means sin of a plus b is positive. Now let us find out cos of a plus b cos of a plus b cos of a plus b. cos of a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. What is cos a minus 5 by 13 into what is cos b 3 by 5 and minus sin a is 12 by 13 into sin b is minus 4 by 5 minus 15 by 65 plus 48 by 65 65 is the lcm minus 15 plus 48 what is the value just observe 33 by 65 in both cases both are positive both are positive means a plus b must lie in the first quadrant so that means sin of a plus b greater than 0 cos of a plus b greater than 0 so therefore a plus b lies in first quadrant first quadrant.